Hello everyone, Silvermoon here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we got most of the remaining tiers of light, leaving only two left. In this episode, oh my god, we also activated the Talon Stone in, act, in, to, in the Gold Wolf sold up in, back in Hordon, in Hordon Spring, so, yeah, so we can get learning technique. In this episode, we will be heading farther up Death Mountain to get... To hopefully get the remaining two tiers of light, even though they're way up there. So let's not get knocked back by these geysers. And dash. Oh. Not dash. Even though it doesn't hurt. It looks like it does. Smash the boxes. Hearts. Okay. Death Mountain. So apparently you were climbing up this whole time. Oh! Shadow Beasts. I think this is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, it is. See how one of them just got trapped off in a maze? I mean, we should take out this one first. Otherwise, our attacks will never reach it. Yeah, now I throw it off. Now get out. Uh, the remaining ones should have grouped together by now, and if not, well, let's group them together. What? Oh well, two for the prize of one. Unless I get hit. Ah, no, no, no. Yes. Shoo. Something tells me that those things will be the bane of my existence. At least in, within this game. No, 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 don't pay away. Thank you, now I'm at full health. It helps because I don't have a fairy. Oh, we can roll the rock. We can roll, can roll the Okay. Why am I referencing so many things that I do n just know of but have really experienced? Leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Even though the bugs are clearly farther up. Oh, we can earn rupees through this. Oh, green rupee. Now, Midna, when are you going to help me get up? Or do I have to climb up a bit first? Uh oh. There's rumbling. I can feel it in my controller. It's an immersive gameplay experience, guys. Wow! Holy crap! That came out of nowhere and took a heart off. Oh wait, I'm going farther down the map. I don't want to go down, I want to go up. No wonder that fire was raining from the sky. Okay, I wonder if turning these stones gives me hearts. Possibly. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Midna. Oh, we have to wait for this. Guys, have to wear up. Wonder what this guy says. Why do I have to stand guard at a dead end upon the cliff like this? Wait a second. Have they tucked me out of the way because I think I'm useless? For Gora. Oh, wait a minute. It says there's a bug here. Oh. Oh, almost got shot there. Where are you, bug? There we go. Ah! I got hit by a fire. Fireball. Oh crap! Again? Oh, don't be old. Don't want to get knocked off the edge. Now 
Now get me up! You fell off the edge. Never mind. Oh, a heart! Alright. Nothing again. Blue rupee! Hey, listen! Wait, what's that blue? Well, I'm checking editing. If it was, that'll be a counter ad. Oh crap, it's vibrating again. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, ah, ah. Ah! Thank God! Do I have to walk along this? Yeah, I did. My timing could have been better. Another spirit. Oh, hot. Another fumarole. And once again, it is in the worst possible place. I suppose this path is impossible now. Burn! Yeah, try tonight to get up there. Looks like we have to drop down. It would help if you give me a heart. Ah! More firewalls! Whoa! I dodged that one with using a jump attack. Ah! Random rocks falling from the sky. That's why they call it Death Mountain. Not because it has death water. And last year, right! Yes! Let's warp out of here before we can get hurt. Vessel of light is full of tears, and light has returned to this area! And that is awesome! And we're back to normal! And we don't have to fight any more Shadow Beasts! Ah, he was just starting to have fun! Don't forget that fused shadow! <laughs> See you later! Pirouette! <laughs> What animal is it this time? It's an eagle! Or a hawk, perhaps. But I'd like to think of it as an eagle. Or wait. My name is Enerly. Spirits of Hyrule, I am the spirit that guards these lands. O oh, great hero chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. But already these grounds have been defiled, draped in shadow and sealed with evil. You must go to the sacred grounds and cleanse them. I would like to think of it as a, an owl. A masked, mustached owl. Not an owl, an eagle. A masked, mustached eagle, but an eagle nonetheless. Alright, so as we're starting to walk slowly out of the... Oh! Link! <laughs> and tell him, why'd you have to not call him down? And, and Mala's just waddling along. Ms. Ralt's close. Ah, see Beth, I told you Link would save us! The one who 
one from Oron whom these children spoke of. We are well met. I am Renato, shaman of this town. And this... <laughs> this is my daughter, Linda. <laughs> Barnsai! Ronaldo is going to introduce his... Oh, wait, that was a girl this whole time. Man, I feel dumb when giving voices sometimes. Beast took us and left us to die, but Mr. Renato found us. At first, I could not believe that they had come from so distant place as Ordona Province. Yeah, I... We don't remember much. All of a sudden, everyone was cashed, and then, until now, it's been like... It was like a terrible dream and we couldn't wake up. Hmm, nightmares are everywhere these days, it seems. This village has recently seen its share of recent hardships. The dark beast attacked, but even worse was the sudden inexpl inexplicable change in the mountain dwelling Goron tribe. They've long been our friends, but suddenly they treat us as foes. Even now they refuse to permit us entry into their minds. Strains the limits of belief. The thing that such a gentle and proud tribe could change so suddenly. It's hinting for newer players that that's the place we have to go next. Makes me wonder if something in those minds is the cause of this change. In any case, you must take these children and flee this village before more nightmares descend. I, of course, cannot leave my village in such a time. There is no telling what may happen to us here. But it is my job to try to coax the Gorons back from their recent change of heart. Alright, so now we only have to we only have to find our horse and and Ilya because Ilya's not here apparently. So let's go ahead and see if we can talk to the Gorons. I mean why not? We We have to at least give it a try. of it and this area is blockaded off all right so let's try climbing up and apparently the Gorn didn't think of the fact that people can jump and grab I like people can jump and grab the ladder and then climb up the net. <laughs> ah! No humans allowed! These lines ahead belong to the Goron tribe. The elders said no humans may pass. Oh. Alright. Just like a goat. And apparently we, we can't have... Have... We can't throw them like a goat. A weak spirit is no match for the might of the Gorons. Do you understand me, human? Then away with you. All right. So we can't do anything yet here yet. It seems we can't explore these land, these areas we explored for in Twilight. Maybe even to us, right? Maybe Twilight is a blessing because we can sneak around. Ah, how fortunate you are in one piece. I saw you heading up the mountain trial. Trail, so I was worried. Are you trying to reach the Gorons of Death Mountain? It is far too dangerous, Link. They recognize only strength. A normal person could never persuade them. But I do know one person who was able to best them and earn their trust. His name is Bo. You may know him as the mayor of your hometown, Ordon. The mayor? Please, go to him. And while you are there, please let him know that the children are safe. Of course, getting them back would be best, but we could not keep them safe from the monsters on the road without a horse and cart. Please, return to Oregon and inform the parents that their children are free from harm. Give them my word. Okay, so we can't do anything there. So let's maybe browse through the shops. See if there's any good new equipment that we can buy. Oh. Starting with the bomb shop, of course. Because bombs are a Zelda staple for those of you who haven't played Legend of Zelda game. Ah. Christ, my storehouse, my powder. What happened? 
I know nothing! Them, them foul beasts. Curse of all. Uh, yeah, curse of beasts, yeah. <laughs> Apparently we can't get bombs of any kind. Yet. Because we blew up the storehouse, but we had no choice. Those insects weren't coming out. I had to smoke them out and then the insects caught on fire. They caught the storehouse on fire. Things went from bad to worse and... Oh. <laughs> Epona! Oh. Hey! Get the heck up. Okay, thank you. Oh crap, we're gonna be trapped! Nice move, like nice reflexes! We got on the s Oh, whoa, she spooks apparently. Yeah, we have a quick time event. Alright! And we get our horse back! No pun intended. Our... Hmm, you're not too shabby a wrangler after all. Why, thank you, Midna. Well, let's make getting back to your town a lot easier. Now go finish your errand so we can get back. Get a move on. Alright, first I want to see if maybe the general short door owner was just hiding really well? Even though there's happy music, no shop holder in sight. Gosh darn it. So it looks like we have no choice but to get out of here and run back back to our village. Get to get to act, get back to Ordon. Huh. Now I want to get on any part. Okay, thank you. Hey -ya! Music is back to this part because it's because it's light now. <laughs> Mr. League, wait! <laughs> <sighs> Greetings, Mr. League. I have come to deliver a letter. It is from a letter from Uku. How could you write a letter? Never mind! <laughs> well, my business is included. Onward to mail. And there is! <laughs> I noticed that I had given him a Mr. Crocker voice accidentally when I was when I was recording and I well and while editing I noticed that it was a Mr. Crocker voice. <laughs> Dear Adventure, I am so happy to meet you and spend a bit of time with you. I am planning a trip to a new location, you know. If you continue your journeys, we might see each other again. So take care of yourself. P.S. I didn't have a chance to tell you last time, but I have a son. I'll introduce you to him if we, if we meet again. He's a good boy who can help you like an item. So be nice. From Uku. Well. How nice. But I think... Knowing what kind of... Bird. Trample you! Ah, oh, jeez! Take that! Blue Loopy! Hey! <laughs> On that note, though, I think I'm going to end off the episode before any other birds can attack me. Jeez. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. 
and I will see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Jeez. Ambush I Bird I was about to end the episode.